Well, it happened. We've reached the end of year one of the On Empty Nest. And since our podcast launched last March, we've released 39 episodes. Oh, about empty nests, midlife transformations, clearing fear, and becoming happier from the inside out. And last week, we published the last and final episode of season two. Here are some of my favorites from the past season. You know, that's the thing, Jody. Simple, consistent baby steps is what changes our happiness at point. People think it's got to be this life-changing, you know, like, you know, I've got to change everything. No, you start with one or two simple little things. You do those consistently. You take those baby steps. And then when the, once those are a habit, you start and do, you do a couple of other things and you just keep building like that. Absolutely. That's how we, that's how we make big strides. And they kind of, sometimes they'll snowball into other areas of your life. So by default, you're, you're affecting more than just that one area of your life that you set out to affect. So it's great. Also, totally, totally true. That's part of episode 25 with my happy for no reason mentor, Marcy Shimoff, an absolute highlight of the past season. Next, I want to introduce you to Stephanie Ball. She was my guest for episode 28, and her advice is especially important during this busy season. So when the sound vibrations activate and massage your vagus nerve, then that helps lower your blood pressure. It helps regulate your breathing. It helps bring your body back to that beautiful state of ease and relaxation after something stressful. So when you listen to calming music, that is what's physically going on with your body to bring you back to a more regulated state. It's so simple. And it's cool because like it works the other way too. So if you're in sort of a low mood, and yes. all of a sudden your favorite song comes on the radio, you feel yourself pick up a little bit. And then, then there's my dear friend, Karen Del Maestro, a breast cancer thriver. This is another impactful one. I recently went through 13 biopsies and I stayed calm throughout. And so I know firsthand, and what I share is always often from my own knowledge. So one of the things that... I think is so important is staying calm and it, it's getting in touch with all of the spinning that's going on in your mind, right? I, it's like we've got a snow globe up there and somebody's right. shaking it and we've got all of these thoughts and you, I know you talk about thoughts a lot and how many we have and they're spinning, spinning, spinning. And so the idea of calm is thinking about getting those, those thoughts settled down. Do you ever feel overwhelmed? I think we can all say, yeah, we do. That's why I wanted to share the following highlight from season two with you. Until I really feel my own worthiness, that I'm as worthy as any other person in the world. I'm as worthy as the person I'm interacting with. They're not worthier than I am. Then until I can feel my worthiness, it's really hard for me to take time for myself, for me to say no to requests that are simply going to be overwhelming and too much for me. I want to really know that I have value. But what often happens is that if we grew up in an environment through no fault of anybody else, we didn't receive the love and care we needed all the time. Kids can internalize that as a sense of, well, it's because there's something wrong with me. It's because we try to make sense of the world as it happens to us. Yeah. And so if we got ignored or even abused or something like that. Inside, it can feel like it's my fault. That was Ann Weiser Cornell from episode 33. I'm going to share one more season two highlight, and then I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into season three. Here's Reverend Karen Cleveland. Sometimes, so our animals are always, first of all, they're always communicating with each other, and they're always trying to communicate with us. And if you're, you know, of the generation that we used to call the radio station all the time during a contest or something, and you pick it up, you know, and you dial, it's busy, hang up, it's busy, hang up, it, you know, it's busy, 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 busy. And that's, it's like the, um, the animals are getting a busy signal every time they're, they're trying to tell us something yeah. because our brains are so occupied and it, even 
when we sit down sometimes to relax, we have the TV on, we have the radio on, we're going through all the laundry list of things in our head. So I think the very first thing is honestly sit down, even if it's two minutes, Yeah, sit down on the couch, on the chair, wherever. And I'm not going to tell you to clear your mind because that's impossible, <laughs> but just don't have the distractions and just be open to to things that are coming in. Such a great episode. And that's just a little taste of season two. If you want more, go to the description and click the full podcast episodes. They're waiting for you. All right. So like I mentioned, season three is coming. It will begin on January 4th. What can you expect from season three? Well, you're going to learn from experts on living organized, being less afraid, maybe a little goal setting, a little bit about creativity, and much more. We'll also talk about love and dating, divorce, and we're going to get a little woo and talk about your intuition. Make sure you click the link below to never miss out on a new episode of Beyond Empty Nest. Happy New Year, and I'll see you on January 4th. They're on.